guys, YouTube people. Welcome back to the channel. <sighs> anyway, got here is the intake manifold. It's all clean. 99.9% .9 clean. Probably 100% cleaner. Probably a hundred percent more airflow going to be coming through this beast. Um, yeah, so uh, a lot of cleaning it took. So let's see, let's set it here. So I ended up going to Harbor Freight. Went to Lowe's, Harbor Freight, bought this at Lowe's, obviously didn't use it. Um, bought some more fuel, some goof off. Had to buy some fuses for my truck, some lights for under the hood. Because I'm still trying to work out the uh, alarm light wiring or light, security light, whatever. Anyway, went to Harbor Freight, bought some uh, brushes, some more brushes, ended up just using one brush, um, yeah, had a, ended up buying some tools at Harbor Freight and at, whatchamacallit, um, got these, these are... I believe cobalt yeah cobalt they had them on sale clearance for 15 bucks for a seven piece ball allens and then harbor freight had these open boxed metric i couldn't find metric anywhere the only ones i can find were uh open boxed um i can throw it away it's in the trash yeah, right here. Oh. So, open box, eleven ninety eight. There was another set of metric uh, open box, but uh, yeah, they uh, they were missing three. So this one's missing one. It's missing the ten millimeter, which I don't mind missing the ten millimeter. Um, so. All it has is up to eight from three to eight. So three, four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Never seen a seven, but whatever. You never know. Um yeah, I got those two sets, fourteen bucks for that, and eleven bucks for this set. And I was mainly looking for torques and couldn't find anything with torques. Um, the only thing I can find with the torques were were these T handles from the Harbor Freight. Um, they kind of feel really, really cheesy and cheap. So if I remember right, yeah, T30. So looks like I'll be using these. Um, probably be using this a lot. Anyway. Um, yeah, got the intake manifold clean. I got this clean, as clean as I can get it. Um, throttle body is already clean. And this is the EGR valve, I guess. So, or something, I don't even know what it is. It's just too many valves. So, this is the brush I mainly used. It was white or clear. It is not clear or white anymore. Also used and bought one of these, or bought two of these, dryer vent brush. That actually is what I mainly used. Worked out really, really well. Um, worked out really good. So I purchased some more Simple Green. Ended up not using Simple Green. Just put a bunch of this purple power in here. 
<sighs> anyway, um, so now I'm just gonna piece as much together as I can. Uh, I did. It smells like smoke, but. Um. Anyway, I'm not sure if you can see in here. Not really, but I got the oil cooler on. Just grabbing a flashlight. So, I got the oil cooler on. I got the new little valve on. Oil cooler's all bolted down. A little adapter plate that goes under the oil cooler is all bolted down. So, got the the whole valley of everything all cleaned up. Um, so now I just gotta wait for a part. Um, weird. It's almost like that charger stopped working again. Anyway, uh, yeah, so, just wanted to give you guys a little update. Let's see what's smoking out here. Um, I smell anything. It smells more in the garage, which means neighbors are probably burning weeds. Um, anyway, yeah, so here's a... A bunch of the stuff that's a bunch of soot that came out a bunch of nasty crap um, that mostly came out of this and I, I tell you what this weighed I want to say it weighed like two pounds now it weighs like one maybe pound one pound uh, the intake manifold this was super heavy it was really heavy. It's probably, I don't know, maybe eight or nine pounds right now. It was probably about 10, 10 pounds. Uh, I did order all new O-rings, all new seals. I go, uh, I ordered six of those little rectangulars and uh, six of the circles. Ordered those, ordered the part. 40 something bucks for this part o-ring o-ring on the bottom and uh yeah and all the other o-rings i didn't order these o-rings that go on to this Got one there one on the bottom and i don't know where else but i didn't order any of those because um I couldn't find them. Uh, it's kind of tricky going through their uh, little diagrams or fish things. It's, it's You almost have to have the part number or know exactly what the part is called. Um, but I don't know what they're called. So, or you have to have a, uh, uh, what do you call it, a service manual. I don't have a service manual. I think it's like 200 bucks, 300 bucks, and I'm doing all this for 200 bucks, roughly. But anyway, yeah, that's about all I got. Um, just wanted to get it all cleaned up. Finally got it all clean, and uh, yeah, it was a mess. So I'm gonna go see what the what people are burning. And, uh, yeah, it just smells like tumbleweeds. It's starting to get windy out here, and idiots are burning. So, I'm just trying to wait for the wind. But anyway, I'm going to end this video right here. You guys will see you guys on the next video. I'm going to walk around, see what's on fire, and uh, go from there. All right, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, do what you guys do. Bye. Later.